Good morning student. I am Kalaiwani. I am your math teacher. Today I am going to take a new lesson. Let us see an activity before entering into the topic. Here are some coins. See here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 coins. We have 9 coins. We want to distribute these coins for 3 persons. This is first person and this is second person and this is third person. First we take out 3 coins from this and give to first person and second person and third person. At starting we have 9 coins. We took out 3 coins from that. So minus 3 equal to 6. Now we had 6 coins. See here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 coins. Okay. Again we take out 3 coins from that and keep first person and second person and third person. Okay. So, 6 minus 3 equal to 3. Now, we have only 3 coins. See, 1, 2, 3 coins. Again, we take out the coins to give the persons. First person and second person and third person. See, 3 minus 3 equal to 0. Now, we have no coin. See here, there is no coin. That's it. Okay, ma'am. And 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, each person having 3, 3 coins. So, uh, each person having equal number of coins. Am I right? So, this is equal sharing. This is equal sharing. And see here, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. I subtract 3, 3, 3, 3. Repeatedly, I subtract 3, 3 coin. So, this is repeated subtraction. Okay. At starting, we have 9 coins and we divided 3 persons the coins. Okay. So, 9 divide 3 equal to finally each person having 3, 3 coin. That is the answer. This is quotient and this is a symbol of division. Yes, children. Today, we are going to learn division. Okay, in this activity, we know division is equal sharing and also division is nothing but repeated subtraction. Okay, see, this is example problem. 852 divide 2. 852 divide 2. Um, we cannot use the that activity method in this sum because this is very larger, you know, 852. And that activity, only 9, nine coins we having, but here 852 coins. Divide 2 table. So, this is divide and, and this is divisor. Divide and wants to write inside the line and divisor is write the outside the line. First of all, you can write the table. 1, 2 is 2, 2, 2 is 4, 3, 2 is 6, 4, 2 is 8, 5, 2 is 10, 6, 2 is 12, 7, 2 is 14, 8, 2 is 16, 9, 2 is 18, 10, 2 is 20. We had three steps for this sum. Uh, first step is take a number. First step, take a number. And the second step is see the table. Second step, See the table. Third step, write the number. First, take a number. See the table. Write the number. Take a number. The first number is 8. So, take a number and see the table. See here. 8. So, 4, 2, 0, 8. And next step is write the number. Write in the less than model. 4, 2, 0, 8. Okay. So, 4, Two's are eight. Understand? Now we subtract this number. Eight minus eight equal to zero. Why we are subtract this number? Because division is nothing but repeated subtraction. Understand? And again take a number. The next number is five. Okay? And see the table. In this table not having five. So before five, four. Okay? 2, 2 is 4. Again, we can write less than model. 2, 2 is 4. Subtract this. 5 minus 4 equal to 1. Again, take a number. Now, we had 12. See the table. 
six twos are twelve. So write six twos are twelve. Twelve minus twelve equal to zero. So this is remainder. This is quotient. And we are already know this is divisor and this is divided. Are you understand this? Okay. Next uh, division property. First property. When a number is divided by one, then the quotient is number itself. Okay. Uh, example. There is only one apple, but there are one. Two, three, four kids. One smiley face represent one kid. That's why one, two, three, four kids. Okay, but only one apple. The question is, how many slices of apple do we needed to make? Yes, four slices of apple. So four slices of apple divided by one equal to. Four. Understand this? When a number, a number is divided by one, a number that is four divided by one, then the quotient is the number itself. Then the quotient is the number itself, the same number. And the second property, when a when a non-zero number is divided by itself, when a non-zero number is divided by itself, the quotient is one. The example: This is apple. There are one, two, three, four, five apples, but there is one, two, three, four, five kids. The question is: How many apples does each kid get? How many apples? Yes. One one apple each get kit. Okay. Okay. See here. Here one two three four five apple divided by five kits equal to each kit get one apple. Okay. That is when a non-zero number. The five is the non-zero number is divided by itself. Is divided by number itself. The quotient is one. The quotient is one. And the next property, when zero is divided by non-zero number, when zero is divided by non-zero number, the quotient is zero. Okay, the apple. There is no apple, but kids. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six kids. There are six kids. So here. When zero is divided, when zero that is zero apple divided by non-zero number that is kids one two three four five six six is a non-zero number. The quotient is zero. Okay. Next fourth property when a remainder is zero, when a remainder not quotient remainder is zero, the quotient and divisor the quotient and divisor are always factor always factor of dividend. We are already know this is dividend and this is divisor. Twelve divide three. Okay, we can write twelve inside the line. And three is outside the line. Third, uh, third table up to twelve. Third table up to twelve. Say the third, third table up to twelve. One three is three. Two threes are six. Three threes are nine. Four threes are twelve. So four threes are twelve. Twelve minus twelve zero. Why we are subtract this? Yes. Division is nothing but repeated subtraction. Okay. In this statement. Then remainder is zero. So remainder is zero. The quotient and divisor. This is quotient and this is divisor. So four comma three are always factor. Okay. So four comma three are always factor of twelve. That is a Dividend. Twelve is a dividend. Okay, that is twelve equal to 
4 into 3 or 3 into 4. Are you understand this property? Yes. First property is when a number is divided by 0, then the quotient is the number itself. And then second property, when a non-zero number is divided by itself, the quotient is 1. The third property, when 0 is divided by a non-zero number, the quotient is 0. Then last property, when the remainder is 0, the quotient and divisor are always factor of dividend. Thank you children.